Good morning. Today I'm going to show you some of the new features that the meet activities have to offer. So we're going to go to our waffle and begin a Google Meet. Start a meeting and giving it a nickname. Clicking join now to start the meeting. And up here are where you can get the activities for Google Meet. So I'm clicking up here. And the two new things I'd like to show you today are polls and the question and answer. So I'm starting by clicking polls and starting a poll. This is just a multiple choice question that you ask your students. So I'm gonna click here, type in my question. This is great for checking for understanding, for seeing how your kids are doing. Um, any of those types of before you start a lesson, seeing what they know at the end of a lesson to see what they understand. So this is where you can really have students individually answer a question and you would put in what options you'd like to put, as many as you want. As soon as you type the poll, you can launch it or save it. So you could have these typed before you begin your lesson and then as you go through the lesson, launch whatever polls you want. And you could have several polls set up and ready to go, and then just launch them as you go. In your polls, you can also choose whether or not you want everyone to see the result. So if you're doing a class survey, you might want everyone to see. If you're checking for understanding, then you might not. So I'm going ahead and click launch, and now the poll is live. Anyone in my Google Meet can answer it. That is your poll. Question and answers. When you turn this on, it allows others to ask questions that everyone can see and hear your answers to. So if you turn this on and people can ask questions such as what other feature might you want from a meet? Um, so you can go ahead and post that question you can hide the question, you can mark it as answered, you can delete the question, and then you, would, as the teacher, would answer the questions later. Kind of like a back channel where you would have kids asking questions as you teach. They're not interrupting your lesson. They ask their questions, and then you answer them when you have time. So that's how easy it is to use the new features, and I hope this helps. Have a great day.